platonic solids are as follows. Their faces are congruent to regular polygons. The same number of faces meet at each vertex. There are only five platonic solids. Tetrahedron, cube, octahedron, dodecahedron, and icosahedron. Let's make a regular tetrahedron with origami. This origami method is based on the book Maho no Origami Asobi by Masataka Suginohara. Now let's combine 20 tetrahedrons with glue and make an icosahedron. 1. Connect 10 tetrahedrons to a disc shaped solid. 2. Connect 5 tetrahedrons on top of the solid. 3. Flip the solid upside down. 4. Connect 5 tetrahedrons on top of the solid. Look at the icosahedron you made. 
the solid has space between the tetrahedrons. Is the method to make an hexahedron correct? Think about a rectangle below. It is on the cross section that divides the hexahedron into two same shapes. Let the length of the sides of the hexahedron be 1. Then, the length of the side AB is 1. The side AD is the diagonal of a regular pentagon. The length of the diagonal of the regular pentagon is 1 plus square root 5 over 2. The proof is left out here. Now find the length of the diameter of the circumscribed sphere of the hexahedron. The diameter is the same as the diagonal of the rectangle. Pythagorean theorem can be applied. x is square root bracket 1 plus square root 5 over 2 bracket squared plus 1 squared equal a square root 10 plus 2 square root 5 over 2 equals 1.902113. Therefore, the diameter is not 2. That means 20 tetrahedrons can't be combined to make an hexahedron accurately. But the two values are almost same. So the combined tetrahedrons is near the icosahedron. Thank you for watching.